Look at this, though. It's under 60 seconds now, Ian. Oh, I Bucket am so is confirmed. The flight computer of Falcon Heavy has taken over the countdown. And they're beginning gas closeouts on the vehicle. Beautiful. The next thing we are waiting for is for the launch director to confirm go for launch, which might happen any second now. Go for launch was given for Falcon Heavy. Beautiful. Nice. T minus 30 seconds here on USSF 67. Come on, Falcon Heavy. Let's do this. Let's do this. I am so excited. All right, now it's going to get pretty loud here right at liftoff and right after liftoff, so you're not going to hear us talk for about a minute or two. Uh, just sit back, relax, enjoy the audio, enjoy the visuals. We'll meet you coming up on booster separation. But everyone sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, grab your drinks. T-minus 10 seconds until launch. And thanks for watching, y'all. Absolutely. Now we should have engine ignition coming up. Bright green it's flash. Engine ignition and liftoff. The fifth Falcon Heavy takes flight as part of the USS F-67 mission. Go, baby, go. Falcon Heavy's cleared the towers. Oh, gorgeous shots oh, right there. gorgeous. Unbelievable. Everyone stand by for sound. We're a few miles away, so it's going to take a few seconds here. The rocket's beginning to roll to get itself on the correct trajectory to make its way downrange. Track or a human track? I Look at it go, I whichever no one it is. God. Wow. Look at the plume. Unbelievable. The, you can see these, you can see these type boosters uh, throttling down, I think, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is <laughs> absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. It's like an upvote. It looks like an arrow of fire from this perspective. <laughs> oh, I'm giving this rocket my upvote. <laughs> it, it's a bird of fire. It literally looks like a flaming bird. Oh, that is beautiful. And we should be Stand coming up here in about 20 Nico seconds here on side booster separation. Now, right when that happens, the boosters are going to immediately flip back around and start burning backwards to make their way back to Cape Canaveral to land. Now, Look. like we said before, there should be a jellyfish effect. We're going to see that in a few seconds coming up on side booster separation. Look, Look at, at that plume interaction. The exhaust is already illuminated, like sometimes when it's a little further it's after sunset. Yep. Here comes Seiko. But the whole exhaust and we've had booster separation. In the oh, line, look at that. Get ready, everyone. <laughs> They're turning around. And uh, booster oh, burn oh, ignition. Oh. <laughs> wow. That looks amazing. Beautiful. Oh, oh wow. my god. Look at that. The side booster plumes are interacting with the plume of the center core. Look at that oh close-up. Look you at this. You can see the boosters themselves. <laughs> you can How see is this the real? <laughs> oh my god, look at that. That's Dr. WD-40's feed. And you can see they're canceling out their horizontal speed now. <laughs> and they're flying their way back. Unbelievable. This is the mo this. one of the most stunning launches I've ever seen.
with them. Unless I forget about oh. the center core, about 20 seconds from now, we should be seeing center core main engine cut off. But look at that. Wow. That looks like a waterfall. <laughs> what? What am I supposed to say? <laughs> it's, the whole screen is filled with cameras tracking this, too. Unbelievable. And you'll look at the RCS pulses. Look at that. <laughs> that is. You can see them I am just saying. Speechless here. <laughs> oh, we've had managing we cutoff the second stage sep. And we've had Merlin vacuum ignition. The second stage is now making its way to a parking orbit. Now, unfortunately, that's likely the last that we're ever going to see of that second stage because this is, like we said, it's a classified mission. They don't want you to know where this is going, even though we know where this is going. So they're not going to show onboard shots or telemetry from the second stage from this point onward. But that's okay yeah. because we have this. And live from the ground, that was incredible. We can still see the two side cores with the naked eye as they are up in the air uh, reflecting the sunlight, which is just absolutely incredible. They're actually crossing the stage one concentra uh, condensation trail right now from our vantage point. Ah, they are get almost direct ready. above us right now. This is incredible. And I'm sorry, get I'm... ready for the entry burn in about 90 seconds. So this this will get only more exciting now, because we have two landings ahead of us. I am and just you dying can from these. Barely see the cold gas thrusters. Yeah. The naked eye too. Like I want to make sure people know. Like that's not just the camera that Michael's using to track this. Like. Oh, it looks like they're starting the engine chill. Yeah. Because the booster is just really lit up from something coming out the back end. Is that a this star? Is... It looks like they're just passing a star on the right from the yeah, last camera they, view. Yeah. They did just pass a star. Yeah. And again, Actually. if you're seeing those puffs there, those are the cold gas nitrogen thrusters reorienting the boosters, making sure they hit the atmosphere at the correct orientation for the re-entry burn. Oh my god. And, and a quick side note here, thanks B1070 for doing your job, and now it will crash into the ocean. Godspeed booster 1070. And yeah, like Adrian said, the center core of this mission is being expended for some extra performance. But that's okay because we're getting two boosters back here. Now, this will be the second landing of both of these boosters coming up on their entry burn here in a couple of seconds. And by a couple of seconds, I mean 30 seconds. <laughs> it's amazing that you can still see these things coming yeah. back. Yeah. And like I said, Josh, with the naked eye, you can yeah. see them, not just with a camera. It's incredible. It's so hard in the daytime. And, and with the lighting here, the, the boosters themselves are being lit by the sun, and you can just see them in the sky. This is amazing. Yep. God, there they are, there they are. There's the entry burn on one. Yeah, and they entry come. Burn on two. Wow. Look at this. They look like meteors coming in. <laughs> and here you can see the fire protecting them against fire. Unreal. Yeah, and literally, that's literally what's happening. They're using, this always blows my mind, they're using the exhaust from their engines as a makeshift heat oh. shield. We caught them oh. as they went, as they made like the, the, the transonic cones and everything. Wow! Wow! Holy Look Lord. at this! Oh. I, I love how we are just all just here like. Look, they're, they're turning not red. Providing they're any reasonable. You can see oh them now. Oh, oh, they're clear. red. Oh my Look god. at these shots. They're oh just, my god! They're <laughs> skyscrapers falling from the sky right oh now. My god. And we still have 30 seconds until they reignite. And they reignite so close to the ground, like, I'm watching them fall with my own eyes, and like, right now I'm starting to be like, light, oh, light, God. light, light, yeah. light. Yeah, here comes the cave. The it's literally now. like a missile. Oh, it's all God. literally. Relight on the first one? Right before the tree line? Now this is going to be a one, on three, one, one. one. Here comes the relights here. Oh, we one see relight. Them Two, Two relights. Relight. Oh, oh, coming oh, down. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Oh, look at that. One booster going down. Nice. Wow. Oh. And touchdown! And landing. Oh my god. Touchdown of both boosters. Double sonic <laughs> booms, baby. Unbelievable. This I got is some amazing. Here from SpaceX. Look at the SpaceX drone shot, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> what a flex. That, what a flex. Uh, that's phenomenal. That wow. was one of the coolest RTLS landings I have ever seen. That was just 
That definitely wow. should stop. Look, look at that. You can still see the transonic cones on the right. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you can see the color of the... Oh, my God. I love how we just went into this screaming commentary like five minutes ago and never left it. Because what else am I supposed to say? <laughs> oh. oh, my gosh. I love it. It's literally our job to put words together, yet we can't even speak there. That It, it just well, shows... <laughs> Like, I, I, I can I can do part I can try part of it. Let <laughs> and pull us back from just the visual spectacle. Nine minutes twelve seconds after liftoff, the second stage itself should also be in its initial parking orbit right now, headed down toward um the equatorial latitudes where it will do its reignition to begin the process of uh raising the orbit out to geo, but that's about all I got. That's incredible. Wow. <laughs> and we have second stage engine cutoff and good orbit confirmed on the stream. So, wow, a good start to the mission. Now, again, this mission is not over. Unfortunately, we're not going to hear the end of it. They have a little over six hours left in this mission. They need to do a boost, uh, burn to raise the apoapsis, or the highest point of the orbit, up to about 35,000 kilometers, then do a six-hour coast up to that point. And once they get to Apoapsis, they'll do a second burn to get either to or very close to geostationary orbit, then deploy the payloads, then they will vent the remaining propellant from the second stage. So still a while to go for stage two here, but... And actually, and, part, of, part of that, too, is the, the orbital inclination that stage two is currently on is 28 and a half degrees, because you can only... The, the minimal orbital inclination you can achieve is the latitude of your launch point. 